so under the banner of UEFA here at the city ground in Nottingham the semi-finalists come out in the white jerseys the champions of Germany last season's champions FC Cologne, Cologne. And on the right John McGovern leads out Nottingham Forest For John McGovern his second occasion in a European Cup semi-final crowd hasn't totally picked them up yet a handshake between players as the referee Antonio Garrida comes between them ready to lead the players out Forrest looking happy enough Larry Lloyd a hand waving to the crowd substitutes turn away for Forrest away to the bench where they've got to sit it out and a packed house here something over 40,000 packed into the city ground on a, a bright evening after heavy heavy rain of the previous two or three days Brian Clough on the right and Peter Taylor reflective faces go out to take their place on the bench wondering if they can outsmart Hannes Weisweiler the old fox of Cologne them a Cologne manager and here's how Forest line up and the importance of personal discipline in European games is emphasized by the absence of Viv Anderson two yellow cards in the games against Grasshoppers gives him a suspension for tonight's match Barrett moves over to the number two spot while the best star play anywhere Bowyer gets the left back job otherwise it's Forest's regular lineup the German champions have lost their superb international midfield playmaker Heinz Flo and have shuffled the side to repair the loss they play pristine in a defensive role and fill up midfield with four men Kuhlmann, Zimmermann, Neumann and Glovatz including the Belgian winger Van Gogh there are six senior internationals in this side Dieter Murale is probably the best known in this country he made a remarkable televised appearance on his debut when coming on as a substitute for Germany against Yugoslavia in the European Nations Cup semi-final two years ago he scored a hat-trick his two goals one in each game knocked out the Glasgow Rangers side last month and we're off in this semi-final the white shirts of Cologne defending the goal on the left and the all red outfit of Nottingham Forest on a pitch which has been badly damaged by rain but it stopped raining early today this Pullman and Lloyd going sharply into the tackle there's been a drying wind and a little bit of sun but the top of the pitch very muddy very holding is Knopka going down the line that was Glovatz keeping it in tackling back by Boyer not a free kick given against uh, Glovatz player who's been suffering with an injury to his groin only passed a fitness test at midday today Bertels beating Schuster but Schuster got their second time Needham, Nyman immediately the long fast ball out. German side settling into a formation of 4-4-2 with winner Van Gogh, the Belgian, and Dieter Muller up the front. But they'll be expecting the number eight, Glovatz, to come in from the right side. Simoman off. Muller. Muller has a look and tripped around. Barrett. And there's the cross, and that's got to be cleared quickly. Knopka got the shot in, it was blocked by Robertson. This is quite a start by the German champions. And McGovern knocks it out long to Woodcock. And he skips away from Gerner. Over to his left is Battles. The first time shot on the near post. That's the speed of the Forest breakout. That was good stuff by Tony Woodcock looks to his left picks up Bertels and Bertels does the right thing the first time shot but wide Larry Lloyd the jump and Lloyd was being impeded a free kick to Forrest which Lloyd takes himself straight off to Boyer ball for Bertels Robertson Knopke 
Chipping it for Muller. Boyer. Already Dieter Muller, the German striker, showing his place up front. And so is Woodcock here now for Forrest. Archie Gunner. Robertson to attack Vanapka. Helped out by Glovacs. Here's Muller. Van Gaal making a run diagonally to his right. Van Gaal now marked up. And the return ball for Muller. Off. Scoring chance there and Forrest were all over the place. That's the clearest ch chance of the game. This 1-2 ball with Van Gaal and Muller was in there. Forrest was static. The goal was open and he's wide. Schuster helps that on to Woodcock. Ambitious try, long way out. So Prestine picks up uh, Nyman. Prestine has a look up to see where Muller is. We'll give that back to Nyman. Through ball for Glovatz. Glovatz being chased by Needham. That's a good ball into Van Gaal. Good drive, and a goal, yes! Van Gaal, and that is a dramatic goal. A crusher for Nottingham Forest. One thing that Manis Spicefiler, their manager, came here looking for was one goal. Van Gaal's got it. Nobody picked up Van Gaal. He was free, he triggers the right foot. Shilton got a touch onto the post, and it trickles into the nest. So Forrest, inside seven minutes, just six minutes gone, find themselves one nothing down here at home. Zimmerman gets it away, but only as far as Gimmel. Gimmel as Cologne funnel back. And Gimmel loses it. Bowyer is there. Now Barrett. McGovern. Barrett goes on running. Tried to turn it back to Bertels, screwed it too far. Glovatz, and that's a beautiful ball to Nyman. And it's two on two. Muller. Now Nyman is coming in there as well. Van Gool's up in the box. Muller doing it all on his own. And Peter Shilton shouts at his defenders. Well, they only had two attacking men. Muller and Van Gool. Muller decides to go all the way on his own. There's the shot over the bar but it could have been deadly here's Robertson Bertels Knopke looking for an unmarked man it's for Glovatz that's a forest ball oh yeah reaching long for Woodcock a whack from behind by Zimmerman. Zimmerman, Herbert Zimmerman, former Borussia Mönchengladbach player. Four times cap for West Germany. Here's Woodcock. And once again, Cologne break and the long striding. Herbert Newman has looked and finds Van Gaal. And he's all right. It's one against one. Van Gaal against Schulten. And now it's Muller to score goal number two. Oh, my goodness me. Forrest are in real trouble. 2 nothing down at home. They look at the linesman. They ask for the offside flag. It didn't come. But they've only themselves to blame there. Initially for leaving Van Gaal. Here it was one-on-one. -on -one, and Van Gaal drags Shilton from his goal. The square ball and nothing is going to stop Muller scoring there. Ping! His fifth goal in European Cup matches this season. 19 minutes gone, and Peter Shilton, who seldom lets one goal past, has been beaten twice here. The task ahead of Forrest now is Everest high. Two goals away from home, Cologne have scored. Cologne's two goals, the highest they've scored away in the European Cup this season. It was 1-1 in uh, Iceland against Sakranis. 
one nothing in Bulgaria against Sofia and 1-1 up in Glasgow against Rangers and here Nottingham Forest they put two past them here goes Boya Bertels Woodcock the shot from Boya oh a beauty hit the bar that was such a beautiful bench shot well we've got the slow-mo of that last shot Boya bent it perfectly like a banana hit the bar should have been a goal Knopke well, the English champions Nottingham Forest are really up against it on their own ground here tonight Woodcock Boya Bertels gets in a turn and Schuster keeps on going he got a push then and the corner given away by Gerber Roland Gerber the sweeper the libero the number five Needham and Lloyd in the box the corner taken Boya off to Robertson Needham and then he's looking for Bertels and that was a beautiful in the same net that he scored his first European Cup goal against Liverpool has dragged Forrest back into the game. 2-1 now to Cologne. This ball from Robertson, a beautiful knocked ball back from Needham. And Gary Bertels found the space and the coolness to pop that ball away from Schumacher. Twenty-seven minutes gone, and Forest have dragged, dragged themselves up back into the game. For Gary Bertels, his sixth goal in European Cup ties. Six goals in seven appearances can't be bad. Knopka, Larry Lloyd up. It's Coleman. Off to Prestine. And Cologne sweeping in again. Boyer's header didn't really get length, and Robertson goes in. Gary Bertels. This is Marco Schuster pushing. Positive man for man marking the German champions adopt. Number four, Schuster on Bertels. Zimmermann on Woodcock. There's Zimmermann. And Woodcock skins away from him. Well, it was uh, Schuster who stuck out a boot. There again, the sudden quick breakout by Cologne. Caught Forrest with basically only one man back. That was Larry Lloyd. It's Kuhlmann. Mula. Kuhlmann goes again. Van Gogh cutting into the box. Fine, fine belt away by Dave Needham. Prevented the ball reaching Van Gool, who was on his own in front of goals. There he is, just getting up now. Shilton comes, and Needham gets the ball. And here's Robertson. Woodcock. Woodcock having to take the ball from behind very quickly and control it, because Zimmerman, this man, number three, staying tight on him. Here's Zimmerman. Looks across to the left side for Prestine. And he knows how to deliver a ball into the box. Oh, it's a good one, too. He curved that one round. Prestine getting absolutely right to the line there. Barrett left behind and curves it. Shilton grabs it near post. Ball into Woodcock. McGovern. Bertels, McGovern playing one twos. Ball off to Needham, who's joined in the attack. Two men back for Forrest. And again, a beautiful ball out of defense by Cologne. It's Kanopka. Muller is free over the far side. Has he seen him? Yes, he has. 
Van Gaal is there with him. Kolopka is still in the attack. Good drive, good save. But Cologne only had three men forward then. Kolopka was one of them. Muller looks up, sees Kolopka, who started the attack, coming in still. This drive was on target. Shilton had to save it. No man. A lot of curve, far post ball, and Shilton was being hammered. Shilton was being hammered by uh, Klovatz. Beautiful bend on this ball from Nyman, though. That's the way to take corners. As Shilton goes up, he's hammered by the German number eight, John Robertson. Less than quarter of an hour of the first half left. Forrest, 2-1 down at home. Barrett. Bertels. Taking on Schuster, beats him. McGovern, Gemmel, McGovern. Good drive! Now that's more like it, Nottingham Forest. They put that one together, and it was their young captain, John McGovern, who was involved. John McGovern, Gemmel, the one-two, and McGovern bang on target. Shoemaker had to make the save. As the corner out. Well, that was hanging there for somebody to knock in. Two German defenders gone down injured in their own box. And Bertels knocks that back to Robertson. His cross into the box is too near Schuster. Lloyd knocks it in there again, and Needham has stayed up. Now it's Barrett. Forrest camped up there, looking for the equaliser. Knocked out by Gerber. There's panic in the Cologne defence for a moment or two then. They should have let the goalkeeper have the ball. Forrest putting the pressure on again. John Robertson. Robertson skating away from two vicious tackles there. Beautiful ball from Berthold's just beat McGovern. And now, Forrest have got to watch the breakout from Cologne. Here's Knopka. Nyman taking over. Glovatz joining in. And they've got three other men to support Glovatz. One of them is Muller. Oh, and Barrett didn't get that ball clear. Oh, that was really dangerous. This ball in from Knopka. Forrest fullback. Colin Barrett didn't get it away, and Muller almost sneaked in. Bertels. Gemmel. Woodcock. And he's beaten Zimmerman again, but they closed down on him. He's in there. Oh, and that hit. Schumacher's right boot. What a beautiful bit of skill, though, by Tony Woodcock. He slips one marker, slips another one, in with a half chance, hits it, and it hit the goalkeeper. That's Needham across. McGovern trying to get there, but Van Gaal will be first. Muller hits this one for Van Gaal. And he's all on his own again. Archie Gemmel comes to him. He checks, has a look. He's in for a chance. Oh, and he's just wide. And he holds his head in his hands. But Van Gaal had the settling of it there, all on his own. He checks, looks up, outside of the right boot, and that didn't miss the outside of the post by more than inches. And Archie Gamble injured in twisting and turning against Van Gaal. And Van Gaal is really proving to be a total danger to Nottingham Forest, and that's a bad injury. They're bringing, they're bringing uh, Archie Gamble off. Frank Clark, a positive uh, defensive player, comes on, so Forrest will have to reshuffle in midfield. In the last minute of this first half, European Cup semi-final. Forrest, 2-1 down at home. There'll be some stoppage time, I suspect, as Coleman knocks that to Prestige. In fact, we are now in. Time added on for stoppages. It's Coleman, Prestine and referee Antonio Garrido only adds a few seconds on. Well, what a first half of football that has been. Forest, all their dreams coming unstuck within 19 minutes when Van Gaal knocked in the first goal. Dieter Muller 
was up there to capitalise on another Van Gogh effort to score the second. Gary Bertels has delivered yet another goal. There he goes, reflectively. Peter Shelton goes off with a lot of pain and grief in his heart. Two goals knocked past him here. Will worry Brian Clough and manager Peter Taylor as they go down off with the players to try and sort something out in the second half. Half-time score here at the moment, then Nottingham Forest 1, Cologne 2. We'll take the break now and we'll be back with the highlights of the second half in just a few moments. So Nottingham Forest prepare to kick off the second half. Since Peter Shilton joined the club September 77 never been two goals put past him here I've never three goals put past him here sorry I'll correct that never three goals put past him here so Cologne have another target to aim for it's only the third time in fact that Shilton had two goals put past him Oldham and Middlesbrough the two sides that have scored two goals against Shilton here on this city ground until Cologne came here tonight. There's Robertson, the ball off to Woodcock. And his marker, Zimmerman, sharply in again. Forrest, those dark red jerseys crowding towards the Cologne goal. And they'll all gather up there now as Knopter gives away a corner. Robertson curling this one. Goalkeeper's come, got a piece of it. Frank Clark has a look for Robertson. Robertson attacking Glovatz, who just put out a knee and pushed him over. They plan to stop Robertson, and Robertson this half will be playing on a, a little bit of grass that side of the pitch. There's Lloyd's challenge. O'Neill couldn't get there, McGovern might. Schuster pushes it away, and here comes Barrett. Van Gogh. And there again, the Cologne tactics clear. As soon as they get the ball out, knock it through and hope that Dieter Muller will be able to latch onto it. Frank Clark on as a substitute for Gemmel, playing his normal position at fullback, releasing Bowyer to go forward into midfield. Here's Robertson for Forrest. Knopke, his marker, going along with it. And Klovatz takes it over for Cologne. Dropping to Pristine, O'Neill roaring in there. The free kick has been given, though. Free kick given for the challenge by Martin O'Neill. Schumacher to Kuhlmann. Off to Schuster. Return ball to Woodcock. He turns beautifully against Kuhlmann. Takes Kuhlmann on a second time, and Kuhlmann was there. Glovax. Muller will be robbed by Clark. Ball to Needham. Clark. Robertson calling, wanting it. But what can he do with it? Hoiked on. Woodcock. McGovern. The header for Bertels, not long enough, but a free kick given. Now it's Robertson. Robertson against Konopka. Gets to the line and wins the corner. Once again, the big man, Needham, goes near post with Bertels. Lloyd around the centre of the goals. 
A lot of good curl on that. Need him up. Whacked away, though, by Gnopka. Clark. And Glovatz turns out of trouble against Robertson and gives the ball immediately to McGovern. Now, Robertson with a chance really to go at the Cologne defence. The chip. Bertels knocks it down. And Bowyer scores the goal. Beautifully constructed goal for Ian Bowyer. This man of all parts, man of all seasons. Superb stuff by Forrest that's got that crowd rolling. It's 2-2. Look at this for a cross ball from Robertson. Look at the honesty of Bertels up to get the knockdown. And the deadly accuracy of Ian Bowyer to score the equaliser. Two, two. So we're eight minutes into the second half, and Forrest are back on terms. Still a long way to go, still a lot to do. But they're back in this game. Neumann, Kuhlmann, Glowatz, and that was Lloyd banging it away to safety, showing that Forrest dare not. For one second, relax. Colin Barrett, the anxiety, the tension showing on his face. Peter Shorten behind him, making sure that men are being picked up. Larry Lloyd in the background, pointing to them. Here's Coleman coming to the near post. His marker, Bowyer, goes with him. And the corner from Neumann. Low, clipped across there. And here's Glovatz to drive it. was an offside flag up. White-shirted Cologne player was forward. Bertels, Schuster, gets the challenge in. Nopka keeps the ball in play. Robertson putting pressure on him. Bowyer in, now Robertson. Here's Bowyer. Woodcock. And a corner. There's a new eagerness and determination and drive and enthusiasm from Nottingham Forest. They were shattered inside 20 minutes to go 2 nothing down. But now they're level. Robertson. Oh, it's a beautiful curl. McGovern. And Robertson facing Glovatz with Knopka in support. There's Woodcock. Woodcock and Zimmerman. Number three, trying to prevent him getting a turn in. Woodcock shielding that ball. And he stubs it in, and it just didn't have the length. The missed kick, McGovern! Oh! What an incredible save, and what rotten luck on John McGovern. What superb goalkeeping. That ball dropping from Muller. A free gift to McGovern. A shot bang on target. A superb save by Schumacher. Here's the corner. Goalkeeper gets a punch. McGovern. The Germans fleeing themselves at the ball. O'Neill. Woodcock. Lloyd in. Woodcock. Ball stuck in the mud. He was trying to reach Bertels. Knopka. A very hard whack then by Ian Bowyer. Knopka looking for uh, solace from the referee. And we got solace from his touchline. A very hard and whacking sort of tackle from Boya that really stretched Knopka. So, Knopka tied it up. And Kuhlmann takes the free kick. It's a bad one, too. It's McGovern. Boya. There goes Bertels. And that shows the tension that's beginning to nag at the nerves of the West German champions, Cologne. There's no delicacy about that clearance. Here's Robertson. Robertson, and again, he checks away from Knopker, the ball from Woodcock. Looking for McGovern and Boyer. 
didn't quite drop to him. It must go back to Robertson to start it again. Everything coming from that side of the park now. It's a good ball. And O'Neill couldn't quite get there. Was that a corner? The linesman this side has given it. And the referee picks it up. And it is a corner. There's the cross. O'Neill just unable to get there and get a touch. I'm not sure that the uh, boot was that of O'Neill's or the goalkeeper's anyway. A corner is given. O'Neill's going to take it. And it's cleared out. But now Cologne are protecting their two away goals. No thoughts of uh, looking for a third at this moment. Here's Woodcock. McGovern. There goes Bertels. Turn, shoots it. Oh, it was great. And a superb goal. John Robertson. What a fantastic goal by John Robertson. 3 2 Nottingham Forest. 17 minutes into the second half. Oh, you won't see much better than that. Well, that, that sums it up. Look at the work by Gary Bertle, though. A blistering cross. And here comes Robertson, full length. Goalkeeper's got no chance. Oh, superb stuff. Five goals. And there's still something like half an hour left. Just a little under. Well, we have a game and a half going here at the City Ground in Nottingham. Cologne now forced to come out again. The Schuster, Neumann, the Slovaks looking for the cross in for Muller. Muller's near post. It's a good one, and Shelton had to do just that. Zip it up over the bar. Muller thought the ball was coming to him. Glovats as the cross. Up and over from Shelton. Well, that would have been a shocker. The agility and quick thinking of Shilton. Saved Forrest then. Here's the corner from Glovacs. Cologne have four men inside the box. That was turned away by Frank Clark on the near post. Goes for another corner. The Trent end picking it up. Nottingham Forest are magic. Well, they need a magic spell now. It's certainly been a magic spell for Forrest in the opening stages of this second half. As Shilton comes, the ball was out. It's a goal kick. And Shilton eager to get it up the field. Good head by Bertels again. Woodcock off to Robertson. Robertson attacking Kanopka. Wriggles through. Does well. Looks for the shot. Hard near post. John Robertson encouraged by that cracker of a header that put Forrest in front. Determined to go through on this run. And drive one with that powerful right peg of his. Sizes it up. And he's wide of the posts. Here's John McGovern. Woodcock, the ball escaping him in that time. Nopka. Pressure coming from Robertson. Nopka noticeably slowing now. Here's Prestine. Good ball on. To Gerber. Handball by Van Gool. To a free kick. Van Gogh's handball was an illustration to uh, give her that he could have done with a better pass than that. That was both uh, Bertels and McGovern challenging the same ball with Nyman as the, the middleman in the sandwich. So the free kick. Glovacs. 
tackled. Prestine and O'Neill is in. And McGovern is there now. Here's O'Neill. That's too long for McGovern. Got there just the same. Nyman. For Van Gool. And this is always dangerous. As he goes in against Barrett. And Van Gool is there again. The touch off for Neumann. Oh, this man Van Gool is posing all kinds of problems for Nottingham Forest. That time, the wriggling run away from Barrett. There's a wild tackle from Needham. The ball squared back for Neumann. That could so easily have been buried for number three, but it's over the bar. Bertle has a fine touch again on to Woodcock. Zimmerman again fouling Woodcock. Well, that has been uh, the Z plan for Cologne. Get into Woodcock whenever you can, Zimmerman, they say. Which pays great credit to Woodcock's skill and tenacity and how much they fear him. Barrett. And Robertson now. Can he chip it back across the box? Well, he wins the corner. From Knopka. Less than 15 minutes of this tense semi-final European Cup match going here now. Forrest in front. Robertson curling it. And a free kick's been given. As Bertels tried to drive the rebound in. Free kick given. Schumacher complaining to the referee that he was being impeded. The free kick's been given. Schumacher. And now it's Presti. Now we shall probably see some time wasting by Cologne if they can. Lloyd. Or on to Muller. And Muller could get one here. Oh. Well, that just shows you you cannot relax for one second against Cologne, the West German champions. Really wasn't anything on, just a long ball through from Kuhlman. Muller gets on the end of it. Shilton commits himself solidly. Puts Muller off and the ball's over the bar. Cologne want to make the substitution and bring on their Japanese international. Okudera, 75,000 pounds from a Yokohama club some two years ago. And it's Glovatz who comes off. More or less a straightforward switch, though Okadira has played a lot of wing play, he is also a midfield player. Bertels across and Lloyd in. And McGovern trying to win this back. But Muller knocks it off for Van Gool. It's one on one at the moment. Van Gool and Okadira. Is this going to be dramatic? His first touch. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, my goodness me. What a way to come on as a substitute. And that man, Van Gool, did it again. Well, you can't do anything better than that. What an incredible moment. For the first time in his career here at the Forest Ground, Shelton's beaten by three goals. The ball in from Van Gaal, Okudera, the touch, and ping. And it's 3-3, and Shelton was over it and missed it. Shilton, I'm sure, will be blaming himself partly for that, but he was so exposed. Well, incredible, incredible game that this is. A free kick now for Nottingham Forest. Three goals by Cologne away from home. That really is a tremendous target now for Forrest to have to aim at. Robertson hoiks that up there. Lloyd goes in. As Lloyd clips it back. And that was Schuster getting it away. There's this ball across. Larry Lloyd tries to get it back. And Cologne will be happy just to... Uh, just to keep possession now. 
pressed in. Forrest have got to win this ball back. Get it back up the park, and O'Neill will do his best. The pace of Prestine, pushing and shoving. Now Woodcock. As the white shirts of Cologne funnel backwards. Bowyer. Clark has... Uh, Barrett has started to run the ball into a... O'Neill and a... Ba Barrett! Trying to make Sutton. Bowyer it was, who spotted the fullback making the run. Barrett does a, a knock-in to O'Neill. And now here comes Barrett, takes it away from the goalkeeper, but couldn't get it towards the target. Cologne's eyes all fixed on referee Garrido. They're waiting for that whistle. There it is. So Cologne, who came here and felt that if they got beaten but scored just one goal away from home, have done a lot better than that. They took a 2-0 lead. Forrest pull back to 2-2, Forrest in front at 3-2, and then a Japanese substitute, Okadera. Well, look at the smiling face there of Okadera. Well, that really is a tremendous mountain now left for Forrest to climb in the European Cup if they're to go to the final in Munich on May the 30th.